The next learning objective of this module is the logical operations, reef classify, overlay, and clipping, and how it is performed in the raster data sets. Logical operations have been covered before in various contexts in this class, and they include AND, OR, and NOT operations. So when we apply um, AND, and OR, or NOT, they are similar to the spatial analysis, but here we apply them pixel by pixel. Again, if we are doing a binary operation, which means two inputs combined using AND, if we have a non-zero value and it with a zero value, we get uh, false. If we, the only way to get uh, a true will be if both are non-zero. So three and one will give one, but one and zero will give zero, or zero and zero will give zero. Now, as we talked about earlier, anytime we have a null, the output Anytime we have any of the input as null, the output will result in a null. So you can see there is three nulls here and one null here, and they all become null in the output. So the output will be either null or a true or a false value, depending upon the input values. In case of or, if any of these is non-zero value, it will give a true. And if both are not, if both values are zero, then they will give a, z a false. And null will again, of course, result in a null value. And not is just the complementation or the reversal of the 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 value. So if they are non-zero values, the not operation will result in false. If they are zero values, the not operation will result in one. And nulls will stay null. The um, logical operator uh, or logical output can also be generated from the conditional operators. So conditional operators are basically applying some condition on the inputs. For example, um, conditions can be less than, greater than, equal to. Suppose we have two inputs and our condition is less than. So if the condition is true, then a 1 will result, if the condition is false, a 0 will occur. And um, so 1 is less than 0 is false, so 0. 3 is less than 1 is false, so 0. 1 is less than 0 is false, so 0. 1 is less than 9, that's true, so 1. And again, the null values will result in null in the output. There's one exception that I want to point out here. There's a function called isNull, and this function just tests if the value is null. And if it's true, it will output a one value. So again, this is a conditional operator, and it is a unary conditional operator. It only takes one raster image and applies um, a condition where it's just finding the values null. And wherever there's a null, you will see one. Everywhere else, you will see zero. Here's another example of conditional operator, um, the one we have covered before. Conditional operator has three inputs. The first one is layer A, on which is null is applied. The other ones are layer B and layer C. So if the output of is null on layer A is true, then we will choose layer B. If it's false, we'll choose layer C. So suppose five. Five is not null, so that will result in zero, which is false, so we'll pick layer C, X. But if we go to this value here, is null will result in true, which means we will pick a value from layer B, and so a B will be chosen in the output. And I hope this example further clarifies the conditional operator. Um, the reclassify operator is very similar to um, the spatial reclassification where we are taking the raster data and putting new values or assigning new values to the cells. And they can be based upon two uh, uh, 
bases one is uh, fixed values or range of values for example we could say that 0 always become a 1 becomes x b 2 becomes b and when we apply this to this raster data 0 will become a 1 will become x and 2 will become b so on and so forth but we can also apply it on a range of values for example in this case we can say all the values between 0 and 1.5 become a 1.5 and 3.5 become b so on and so forth um, now i want to point out here that if the input has null it will lead to a null but you can also apply a reclassification of the null for example if the value is null convert it into d so that's another way of reclassifying reclassifying null values um, now if the value is outside this table of fixed value or outside the range here then there is no way to reclassify it and a null will occur for example in this range none of these values is covered uh, covering minus one so minus one will result in null because there is no reclassification for minus one the other thing we can do is raster overlay we have covered this also in spatial analysis but this is very similar to the concept of map overlay or, or map uh, algebra where we are doing computation um, on the uh, interval and ratio type data but what if the data is nominal which means it's just a bunch of names we cannot add or subtract names but we can overlay names and that's what raster overlay does if we have two raster images with names then we can overlay and overlaying will create different combinations of those two raster layers and those combinations will define a, a new nominal type raster layer and the table uh, the attribute tables that correspond to correspond to those two raster layers will also be combined um, where new rows will be created showing all of those combinations for example one will always appear when a and x are together two will always appear when b and x are together so on and so forth the raster clipping operation is performed by using a mask or template the mask contains one values for the pixels that are to be kept and zero values for the pixels that are to be discarded or removed for example if this source data is clipped with this mask or template these pixels will appear in the output all of these pixels will be clipped out so seven two two one five minus one so on and so forth and everything else is a null value now it is quite common practice um, to use multiplication in this process as well the only key that you have to remember is that in case of multiplication your input data shouldn't have any zeros because multiplication of zero and one will result in zero which means that has that part is removed but if you already have a zero in your input data that will also result in zero so it will be unintentionally removed um, even though the mask contained a value one um, here's an example of removing the or clipping a raster image using a multiplication with the raster mask. Um, 